Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Before I get started with that uh, painting of the candy paint, let me just uh, do a little quick unboxing of uh, a YouTuber. A YouTuber sent me this. His uh, name is Brush Strokes, right there. Yeah, I'm going to leave all the information to his channel. Guys, go ahead and follow him. He does a lot of great work with airbrush. Uh, you'll be surprised as to what he can do. That is amazing. So, Go ahead and follow him. Tell him Far Away sent you. And uh, let's just get to it with the unboxing. And this is what he did, guys. He did my logo. He airbrushed my logo on a shirt, which came out looking awesome. Thank you, brother. Thank you very much. I love it. It came out nice. Guys, if you want to see this airbrush being done, go to his channel. He has a video as to how he did this logo. You'll be amazed the way he did it. It is awesome. I'll leave all the information on his, uh, on the description below to his uh, channel, to this video. Go ahead, subscribe to his channel. He has a lot of good work. He does a lot of real nice painting. And uh, you'll be surprised as to what he can do with, the, with an airbrush. Guys, go ahead, follow him. Uh, I'm going to leave all his information, his phone number, his uh, email, everything on the on a page uh, that's going to be coming up. Just pause the video if you want to see it. All his information is there. Anything you need airbrushed, he's your man. He can help you out. Just tell him far away sent you. He'll hook you up. All right, guys. Brother, again, thank you very much. I really loved it. It came out looking awesome. All right. Let's get started with that motorcycle. Okay, let's get started with the motorcycle. As you can see, uh, everything's cracked. Okay, so in my opinion, it something reacted when the the they painted this bike. So let's just uh, tear it down to bare metal. That's the best thing you can do, because if I just sand it down and put my paint on top of this, it's gonna it's gonna cause the same the same stuff so let me just uh sand it down to bare metal and uh start fresh i'm gonna be using the grinder and this is the uh, the wheel i'm gonna be using it's just to remove paint remove rust and uh and everything i'm gonna leave a this on the description below i'm gonna leave as to where i got this but that's what i'm gonna be using to start peeling everything off taking everything down to bare metal There it is guys, this is uh, the product I'm using. I got this at Walmart. So, there it is. And you can see that it's removing the paint all the way to bare metal perfectly. After this, I'll just take the DA, start uh, sanding everything with 80 grit, and it'll be, it'll be perfect. Let me just finish off uh, sanding the entire, the entire bike. There's only two fenders in the, the gas tank. And I'll come back as soon as everything's ready so that uh, we can start painting. There it is. Everything has been sanded inside and out. I had to fix a couple of little minor dents that it had. But everything turned out real nice. Now all I'm going to do, I'm going to add some um, epoxy sealer. Epoxy primer sealer, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is going to ensure the... For the bare metal and uh, for the adhesion. Okay? So... Let me mix that up. If you haven't seen me use this product before, you can go back, see it on uh, several of my other videos, and you'll see what this uh, product is all about. Either way, I'm going to add a description as to all the materials that I've been using, guys. All right? So let's just uh, get started. Apply that, uh, that epoxy sealer and go from there. The gun I'm going to be using is my uh, Genesee Carbonio 360 Lite by Wacom. 
The, some of the products I'm going to be using are from Grant 7. I'm going to be using the Liquid Diamond as the base. Uh, this is a real nice, uh, real nice silver, guys. has a lot of metallic, which with a candy, it'll pop. I got my reducer. And the candy I'm going to be using is Granty Wine. This is going to give me this, the exact color that the customer wants. So this is what I'm going to be using. All right, I'm going to show you how to mix it. Um, let's just get started. There it is. I added two coats, waiting 15 minutes in between. Now, I'm gonna wait 20 minutes before I can start applying the, the base. So let's wait that 20 minute and come back. Now with the Grant 7 liquid diamond, you do not use a strainer on the gun. You're gonna trap all the metallics. Do not use a strainer. Just pour it straight into the cup and you're good to go.
This is the first coat. Uh, I'm gonna add three coats, three coats of the metallic, the diamond, the liquid diamond, and uh, that'll be it. That'll be more than enough. Now, I don't know if uh, the camera captured it, but there was metallic flying all over. Uh, I got my metallic on my hands and everything, which means uh, this is a heavy, heavy metallic uh, color uh, because you need as much metallic as possible for that candy to stand out, okay? That's why a lot of painters use uh, silver metal flake because that's going to make that candy stand out. But uh, this, this is, this is the next level, man. This is real nice. All right, so let me just uh, apply the other two coats. I'll come back whenever I'm going to start applying the, the candy. There it is, three coats of base. Now I'm going to let it dry for about 15 minutes and come back, start applying the candy. Let me show you how to mix candy. On the candy, guys, I'm going to mix it with uh, some inner coat blending clear right there. I already have it in the cup. Now all I'm going to do is add a couple of, uh, I guess, drops, you want to call it, uh, so that the, the clear can uh, become the candy. All right. So let me do that. And there it is. And a lot of you are gonna tell me how much do I pour? How much do I have to What's the measurement? Well, I can't tell you that because it's preference. Now, how I do it is that um, on the stick, I look at the stick and it kind of tells me how much it's gonna cover. Like for me, that's perfect because I know that the, the silver is gonna pop. So it's up, it's up to you. Uh, it's best to you just to play around with it and uh, you'll get it. But that's how I do it. Now I'm gonna. Uh, all I gotta do is just uh, add some uh, reducer to this. I'm good to go. That's the first coat. Uh, the first coat is kind of light. You got you got to go in steps, guys. Don't try to apply the first coat as heavy as possible because you're gonna get uh, blotchiness. You're gonna get uh, striping and everything. So don't do that. You gotta go kind of light, 
the second one kind of light and so far and so so on i'm sorry but um that's the first coat i'm gonna wait 15 minutes and uh come back and apply the second one and the third i think it's gonna have to have four coats so i'll bring you back whenever i'm gonna apply the fourth coat the last coat so that you can see how dark it got and uh, match it up to the to the pattern that i uh to the speed shape that i got all right but uh that's the way you do it let me just wait 15 minutes and i'll come back And there it is those are the four coats of candy it looks awesome real nice now i'm gonna let it dry for 15 minutes come back apply the clear coat now the clear i'm gonna use is from real flex it's called clear rapid 90. uh the fine folks at real flex sent me this clear to try out on this motorcycle so um that's what i'm gonna be doing that's what i'm gonna use i'm gonna be using a this clear see how good it is and uh, it's mixed two to one There's the first coat. My initial thoughts on the clear, it flowed out real nice, real smooth. Uh, it says to wait for about 10 minutes in between coats. And uh, let's do that. Let's just wait 10 minutes, come back, apply two more coats, 
It'll be three coats and that'll be it. Uh, it says it dries in about an hour and a half. So let's just try it out. Let's just put two more coats, see how this thing works. There it is after four coats of clear. Came out looking awesome. Awesome, awesome. Now the customer wanted me to put some decals here and clear, clear coat over them. The only reason I didn't do that, and I'm sorry, brother, but is that I didn't know how this clear was going to react with those decals. I know that the decals are vinyl, but that's the only reason. Uh, I hope you understand. I, don't, I didn't want to apply those stickers, put the clear coat, have them mess up. Then I would have to restart this gas tank. You were gonna, you were gonna have to buy some new stickers and stuff. That's the only reason. But uh, it came out, it came out looking awesome, real nice. So hopefully, I know that the camera captures the color differently. Uh, it is red. It is a, a real bright candy red. Jeez, uh, it looks awesome. Now the clear, the clear. This is not a high solids clear. I noticed that right away. This is like a medium solids clear, but it performed. It performed good. It perform, performed real nice. It laid the clear real smooth right there. So I do. I do recommend it. It's a real nice clear. All right. I'm gonna be using this clear for small projects. I still have some rims. I still have some a wing uh, that I have to paint. So there's several little things that I'm going to use this clear for but uh, all in all it's a real it performed flawlessly all right and this will be it guys this will be it for this video I hope you liked it this candy paint job this candy apple red by Grand 7 and uh, also the the base I used was uh, liquid diamond also from Grand 7 and the clear the clear was from real flex you saw me apply it. You saw me apply all the steps. And uh, that's the way to do it, guys. All right. Thank you very much, guys. Like, share, subscribe. And uh, I'll see you in the next video, guys. All right. Have a great weekend. Have a great week. I'll see you this coming weekend with that uh, 37 uh, Pontiac. And that'll be it, guys. All right. Thank you. Like always, God bless.